we are beginning to get a handle on why it is that we sleep, and it's weird. It's another one of those unexpected, really weirdly unexpected things, and here's the way you can show it. You put a rat through a maze, and you've got a bunch of electrodes stuck in its head, okay? You record the pattern of electrical firing as the rat learns to negotiate through the maze. Does that make sense? Pretty soon you see the rat has a maze learn pattern. And you can actually watch the rat as the rat is going through the maze, deploying that pattern over and over again. Does that make sense? If you leave the electrode on at night while the rat is asleep, at a very particular stage in the rat's sleep, you see something so weird that I think when it was first encountered, some people didn't believe it. The rat replays the entire learned sequence thousands of times over and over again at night. At night. It's called offline processing. Lovely term, huh? Offline processing. There is a strong suggestion that if you've recruited something for long-term storage and you want to remember it, the 10-year journey, or however long that journey actually is, begins the night after you've learned it. In which case, the brain rule says, sleep well, think well. What it really means is that sleep is unbelievably important to learning. And it may be, you can now show this to be true in humans. When you learn something, you will replay it over and over again in your head at night. And if we disrupt your sleep at a very particular stage, you will quit learning and you have to relearn it. In fact, you can show that with the maze with the rats, with the maze. When you disrupt the sleep right in the time when they're doing, repeating that thousands of times, they have to go back and relearn the maze. They didn't, they didn't remember it. So it may be that sleep is an unbelievable partner in learning, not because it makes you less drowsy. You need to sleep to shut everything off so you can pay close attention to what's going on inside. 